Good morning my friends and welcome back to another fossil hunting episode Well, I don't know if you remember this landscape, but we are back I returned to the place, or I'm going to return to the place where I found that huge slab of fossils To see if I can dig out some, some new specimens out of that So, let's go Well guys, I climbed myself way up in here uh, I don't know if you remember the this is not very tall but the the hill is very steep and it's very hard to to climb but uh, I don't think I'm going to have the same luck that I have that I have the last time that I was here because on the road that there, there is the slab of fossils there are plenty of dogs that the donors let them go out and I don't know if they are if they are going to stay there or if they are going to go home but I don't know I don't know I I guess I'm going to try to pass over this hill over here and well I managed to get myself into here uh, I don't know if you are hearing guys I think they noticed me <laughs> but they don't know where I am so let me see if there are any of them in here the yeah, coast is clear okay let's start searching for fossils in here <laughs> I already see something interesting Take a good look. Guys, I managed to break this part of the rock over here, the slab. Let me see if I can take... Oh. Let me see where... What is it in here? Ooh. A spider over there, but once again, signs of shells, but nothing recognizable. Okay, I think the good stuff are ready. Oh, there's a nice shell over here. If I can take it out. Okay, I'm going to try to hammer with this thing a little bit more uh, to see if I can dig out some fossils. Let's see. Well, I don't. Uh, I'm. Well, I, it seems I don't have too much success with this rock over here. I have to bring a hammer. That's for sure. And uh, another factor is the dogs that are over there. I cannot make too much noise, but. I found something unusual in this this tip over here it looks like a piece of shell but I'm not for sure it's very thin and it goes on over there let me see a little bit better I, I will see if I can try to take it out oh my god look could this be a geodized Toritella? Oh my god, it's incarcerated in here. Oh, this is going to be so nice if I can take it out. Oh my god, real cool. I wonder where, where is where it is the, the other bit over here. Let's see if I can find it. Well guys, bit by bit, hammering, hammering rock against rock, I managed to crack this and I'm seeing pretty interesting stuff around here. I have to show this. I have to show this better at home. But there seems to be some sort of shell around here. I hope that, that this was this could be one of the largest ones. Let me see, let me see if I can take this out. Hello guys, after much effort I managed to whew, 
to put the slab on this side and as you can see there is a giant pectum over there I'm not sure if I'm ever achieve to take him take him out but I will try there is another one over there see okay now I'm not I'm not sure I'm what I'm going to do hmm I, I guess I will try to take that out but it's going to be very difficult because it's too thick can you see it well let's see so guys I left that large pectum um, in the rock I didn't uh, remove it because if I try to remove it using the methods that I was using uh, which uh, was smashing rocks against rocks I would probably end up losing that that specimen and I left it there it gives me a reason to come back with proper tools and I would check another place around here another place is around here to see if there is fossils I already uh, have um, some cool specimens over there um, and we'll see we'll see what what surprises are in here so I come back here uh, to see if there is any fossils I didn't saw any signs of fossils here but I will try to see if I can find something in here because if the other if the other side there is fossils maybe there is in here also but we'll see we'll see and here we are my friends once again this is the the pieces that uh, I managed to to find during this episode not pretty significant but interesting uh, anyway so we've got this uh, pectum uh, scallop shell as you may like to call it um, still interesting because I don't know if my camera will collaborate with me but I will try to do a zoom here in the shell and you can see oh no you cannot see well I was planning to show you that there are remnants of some marine life attached to this shell but okay anyway this is the fossil of the pectum uh, nothing unusual about it I have uh, a couple more of them and uh, and you can see others in my episode but this one has something uh, quite cool on the other side we have a little gastropod in here <laughs> was incarcerated in here very cool so this one it's special because of that and because I will try to do a zoom if I can I will try to do it with some magnification apparatus that I have uh, but here I will approach very slowly but here you can still see some remnants of marine life see I don't know what to call this but it's cool this is a, a cool specimen that I found so today I'm, I mainly uh, bring back some Turritellus the Turritellus species have many many variants I don't know the names the names of all of that all of them sorry about my bad English this one looks like a bullet <laughs> I don't know if it is to retell uh, I don't know how the name uh, Dixoni I don't know is it Dixoni or something like that I know that this one I believe this one could be to retell a Dixonis Dixoni Dixoni if you search on Wikipedia, there is plenty, plenty of variants of Turritellus, and I don't know. I, I I think each each year they are discovering more and more species of Turritellus, but this one, I believe it's Turritella uh, dixoni. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. I probably am. Um, I took from the internet uh, an Excel with the species of Turritellus and to my amaze it was almost 
900 uh, species, I believe, from Turitellas. Well, this was a gastropod that I collect during... You, you, you don't see it in the footage, but it's cool anyway. So you got plenty of this. But this over here, this is the, the main piece of today. Looking by that, you don't see much, but if I came closer, you can see that this is a piece of Turritella also and we got crystals on the inside so and that is the other bit so friends uh, looking like this this uh, fossil doesn't look like much but looking carefully and you can see that it has some nice quartz crystals inside and I believe this could uh, could be something real cool in my display case so I will see if I can mount something that could uh, could could make this uh, an eye piece in my collection. First thing I will try to to glue the piece back together I don't know if it has if it is, if it is a good idea, but I believe it's uh, like that. You can still still see uh, very good the crystals inside. But I will sh I will try to see to show you something before I glue this. Let me see. So take a good look. I believe this is a Turritella Mortoni because it has these crests over here. See? Okay. I will try to do something real cool in order to to put in in perspective that that crystals that that are inside. So, knowing that the fossil that I have uh, had crystals inside, I was thinking in a way to really put them in, in the highlight. So, I have some LEDs that are leftovers from something that I broke. Uh, this, this one is still complete, but there uh, was uh, two more that were were broken and I put them in the trash and I do some scavenging of the LEDs and I put it in this breadboard to see if they are okay and I have this uh, little thing I believe it's from Christmas lights and I'll, I will try to put um, I will try to lit up the LEDs and later on I will try to put the LEDs behind the fossil to see if the the crystals, the quartz crystals inside glow a little bit and my idea is to do a display uh, stand with some light from behind the fossil in order to to see better what's inside so let's see so uh, keep in mind that I'm not an, an electronic ex expert this is just something that I like to mess around like the fossils so I connect the the LEDs in this line over here and you will see that they are, they are very bright and my idea is simple see the fossil in here uh, looking like that it doesn't say much but if I put it like that on the display case take a good look it start to get green very cool very cool uh, I know the camera uh, is not very good but I uh, I can assure you guys that LEDs are white bright white and these are starting to pop out like some greenish crystal quartz crystal uh, you can see that I broke the I glue sorry you already see that it was broken I glued the fossil in here so it shows signs of a crack so let's see if I can build a display case with lights behind uh, to show this a little bit better <laughs> so I will try to do something to put the fossil in this direction like that 
using uh, some paper clips that I have around here uh, and we'll see if it stays good or not so this is a pretty good way to recycle some of the stuff that I have uh, I don't have much money so <laughs> it's always a good option to use what you have around so let's see what I can do with this I'm not sure if I'm going to put the fossil like this or like this well I have to see so I start to to do this shape with the paper clips that I have and I'm not sure real where I'm going with this I believe this this could be tilted it's better okay I already know the position that I want okay after some tweaking around with the paper clips I managed to achieve this shape a little bit rough but I will try I will try to put it a little bit better so the purpose is like that put this like that hiding the stuff behind and it stays like this okay this is one step now the other step is to light up the 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 back side of the fossil in order for us to see the green all the green that the fossil has from this side so that's another stuff so let's see what I can do so friends with these two LED LEDs that I had here uh, from scrap I managed to put them together to see if I can okay they are working fine now the final step is to put them on behind the stand of the fossil so let's see how this is going to turn okay this is the stand I put some weld over here to give a little bit more sturdiness to this this looks like a tango dancer <laughs> with the arm like that these are the LEDs that I weld together and these are the result when I light them up so the purpose is to put this behind and then the fossil on a display case okay let's see how this will turn out here it is friends the end result and here it is the fossil of the Turritella and the stand made out of paper clips uh, I still didn't quite hide the, the string that is uh, behind all of this but I think it turned out real good but the best part came it's going to be right now take a look Cha <laughs> it really lights up the interior of the fossil it, I, I think it turned out real 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 cool I think that's too much light uh, behind the fossil but nevertheless it's very very cool I think it turned out great um, one thing that you must see is when I turn the lights out and only this uh, lit up uh, <laughs> this looks like a fossil from hell <laughs> I will I will do that in a moment I will turn out my lights for you guys to see it and well that LED is showing up so I have to turn this a little bit around but I think the overall effect was great so I'm turning the lights out now guys can you see the difference <laughs> it really looks like there's something unusual cooking inside of that fossil <laughs> real cool real real cool okay so so that's about it 
I hope you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe and see you soon on the next video. Bye!